Hi guys, welcome back to Megan Dawson, Ethereal Orb Art, and you are looking at not even half of my leftover paint. So today I'm going to do a rainbow swirl using as much of this as I possibly can. I have almost this much, actually a little more than this much, um, left in my leftover stash, and it's just getting a bit silly. Um, so... <laughs> I thought I need more cups to mix in, but it seems silly to mix more paint when I have all these leftovers. So, I mean, really, I probably have every color mixed somewhere in this anyway. So, time to use these up. And then right there in the middle, if you're wondering what that weird little thing is, that's my selfie stick. Whoa, it's really high. Um, where I um, hang my phone to record. And there's my swirl from the June Pouring Challenge really like that one. It's hanging in my um, art room right at the moment. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I have had a little bit of a cough, so um, it may go to music once I start painting. Um, depends on if I can paint without and talk without coughing too much. Um, here's my canvas. I have a little 11 by 12. I'll turn this light on now. Whoa if I don't knock my paint stash over. So, if you are new to the channel, I am Megan Dawson. You can find me on Instagram under Ethereal Orb. Okay, sorry. I didn't think you wanted to get um, seasick while I put my phone in my selfie stick to record, so I paused the video. Um, so anyway, you can find me on Instagram, Ethereal Orb. Um, I have a Facebook group. It's Fluid Art Fanatics. And I have a new podcast on Podbean, and that's Fluid Art Fanatic. I will link everything in the description bar. Um, I was going to update my Etsy shop actually a couple days ago. Is that yesterday? I'm all out of whack. Um, but we had this really crazy um, hailstorm. And I had to clean up my backyard, and it took all day plus some. So anyway, um, you can look for me all those places. Don't forget to hit subscribe. I have tons of exciting stuff coming up that I'm really excited about. So if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to get my purples out first because I'm going to do purple to red um, in my swirl. There's something else I wanted to mention, and I forgot. So anyway, I'm going to do a swirl, um, purple on the outside into red. Oh, if I can open this. And I'm not sure. I'm going to get all my colors of every color out, and then I'll see kind of what goes. Um, so this part might take a while. If you do not want to watch me fill up this cup to do the pour, go ahead and fast forward till you see me bringing my canvas out. Um, but I have some exciting podcasts in my brain um, coming up. And um, I have a huge 24 by 36 canvas sitting here that I've had for a few weeks, and um, be doing that soon. Have some pores in my head that I want to try. So today is getting rid of stuff so I can start fresh. Well, I'll have half my stash, but anyway, I'll get some of that, some of it out of the way. Okay, so this is kind of weird muted purple, isn't it? You see that? Um, I don't know. Maybe I will use that because actually it's kind of neat. I think I'm going to save this to pour around the edges. So let's not put that in the swirl. Let's put the lid back on it. And like I said, if you do not want to watch this part, fast forward until you see the canvas. But we can chat while I'm doing that for some of you who want to see the order. Um, I always like to see the order and the process. Well, I take that back. There are sometimes I don't. But when I do... Um, I like it when it's there. I'm going to do... Oh, um, I like it when it's there and available for me to go back and watch, even if I fast forward a bit. I'm not sure those purples look beautiful next to each other, but um, I have some other purples over here. Okay, I'm just going to stick with what I got out already because, you know, I could really go crazy. Like I said, I have double this amount. I really want to use it. Um, I don't think I have a super crazy amount of paint here, so I think I'll be okay. This does need some water, though. This one I mixed a long time ago. It's, it's actually kind of thick. 
And what I have found is that if I have, you know, not very much, I had some that had like a teaspoon in. I don't even know why I saved them other than I don't want to waste paint. Um, but if they're too thick, I mean, if, they're, if there's not much left, um, they do eventually dry up, even in these. I'm sure these don't seal as well as, as other types of containers that people use, I use. Or maybe I'm just not always getting the cap on. This one's almost green. Okay, so that's my purples. I didn't use this one. This may be, like, hideous. This rainbow pour may just have, like, so many colors in it that it's like... Whoa, this lady is nuts. She went too far. But we'll see. Okay, so. What I'm going to do with all these containers. I want to leave them out to dry so I can peel the paint out of them and reuse the containers. That one definitely needs stirred. But I'm not really sure where I'm going to put them all. Okay, so blue, blue. Hope I'm in. Yeah, I'm in the shot. Okay. Blue, my daughter is out tonight, so if you hear a door and hear her say hello, that's why, you know, let's just mix these two. I'm singing. I was watching the fat squirrel speak, so I'm adopting her. Okay, so my mom turned me on. If you haven't seen my podcast or haven't heard me talk about it, my mom turned me on to a knitting podcast, and I do not knit. But it's a knitting podcast by the Fat Squirrel Speaks, and she has like 200 episodes, over 200 episodes. Um, so there's plenty to listen to. I love listening to them when I'm getting things done around the house or what have you. Oh, that one has a gloop in it. But anyway, I've noticed, you know, you're when you're watching a show... Um, you're really into a show or something, or a podcast or whatever, um, and you notice that like starts entering your, you know, your conversations. You know, it just becomes part of your what you talk about. Although nobody else listens, my mom watches her, um, but nobody in my household does. So it's like it's kind of like I don't know. We're talking about something. I'm like, oh, and the fat squirrel, the fat squirrel speaks, says, and my husband and my daughter are just looking at me like, whatever, mom. And why are you watching a knitting podcast anyway? You don't knit. Whatever. She's entertaining. She's highly entertaining. That's why I watch a knitting podcast when I don't knit. Although it's making me kind of want to knit. Look at these. I'm not emptying these, but if I don't, if I do, I'm not going to have, oh, maybe I should do two rainbow pours. I don't know. But anyway, so anyway, she's really, really entertaining. And I enjoy listening to her very, very much. I think, ah, this is going to get crazy and this is going to get crazy really, really fast. Okay, so I have purple and blue and I'm already at, what am I at? I'm already at like almost three ounces. Did my phone just stop? Oh, sorry, my light turned off, so I thought my phone stopped recording. Why did my light go off? Hopefully this is bright enough. I've been experimenting with um, trying to get the um, a little bit brighter on the editing while I'm when I'm editing. Um, I'm working on the editing process. I'm getting better. But now I use that light partially to know because sometimes it does stop recording. And I love having that light on so that I know it does. I'm not just talking to myself. Okay, I'm not going to use this. This is really, really gloopy. I'm not even going to use that one. Okay, so on to bright green, I guess. I have some metallic green. I'm not sure I'm going to use it because I think it's going to clash. Um, it's the only metallic I have, so um, I'm not going to use it. Ooh, how thick is this? Ooh, that's really thick. Okay, so what were we talking about? Fat Squirrel Speaks. If you knit, check her out. If you don't knit and you like somebody that just, you like listening to things that are just entertaining, check her out. Maybe I'm the only crazy one that likes to listen to podcasts for things. Although she doesn't, she, 
will say, I, when she starts talking about knitting, sometimes I do shut it off because the first half to three quarters has nothing to do with knitting. It's just chit chat and fun stuff. Okay. Here's my metallic. Okay, on to yellow. I only have a little bit of yellow and I think they're the same color. This is really about the only yellow I use on a regular basis. So it's um, fluorescent yellow. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I am really behind on comments. We've been a bit crazy here. We had T-Ball start, and then we had that hailstorm on the day I was going to do Etsy and some online stuff. So um, I'm a bit behind on comments. If you left a comment on something or asked a question and I haven't answered, that is why. What order do I do? I know this orange. Um, I am not going to use all this bright orange even to get rid of paint. So anyway, um, I'm a bit behind on comments, but I will tell you about this paint. If you're wondering what I'm using, um, you can ask on this one. I sure hope that's my cat. Hang on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. I heard crinkling and I didn't think I had anything out that would crinkle, um, but everybody in my house is in bed. Um, so that left my cat or, you know, like a serial killer breaking in um, with something crinkly. <laughs> so anyway, I looked out and my cat is on a little, ooh, those oranges look terrible together. Um, my cat is on a little like alphabet thing that my kids have to play with. You stomp and it, you know, tells the alphabet, tells the letter you're stepping on. So cat, not a serial killer. So anyway, <laughs> Where was I? Um, if you're cur curious about any of these paints, let me know, but I cannot guarantee that I will, oh, I think that one was clumpy, um, remember. But you can ask. Always worth, always worth a shout out, a shout out to find out. Okay, so um, anyway, as I was saying, I'm a bit behind on comments. And if you wanna ask about, oh, that's really thick. Um, what colors I have here, ask away. Everything is mixed with either, that's really thick, um, Basics Matte Fluid Medium, which is this right here. I started this video upright, so I'm not sure which way the cam my editing software is gonna put it. Um, but anyway, so, um, it's either mixed with that or uh, Floetrol or a combination of the two. So I use everything and really they work pretty much the same. The Basics Matte Fluid Medium is just a little bit thinner um, than the Floetrol which I like because it, it helps get the paint horrible. That one's really sinking um, without having to add um, as much water is what I find. So and I like the consist consistency. Some of them have um, silicone, some of them have dimethicone. I'm not gonna use the red either. Um, but I did make headway. Uh, let's see how many ounces do I have? Six, actually, I can do a little bit more because I'm using a large canvas. Let me add the rest of this. Or maybe I will just add a touch of red. But I have plenty of purple to go around the edges, so I'm not terribly worried about filling my canvas. Just a touch of red right in the middle. Okay, although that might turn that pink into looking like purple, and they're going to say, why did you put red, purple, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple? That's weird. Um, <laughs> so anyway, some of it has silicone, some has dimethicone, some has neither. Some of it's a bit thicker from sitting, some of it's a bit thicker because I used it for a swirl and I don't, I mix my paint a little thinner when I make a, when I do a swirl because I like the, I like the swirl pattern to stay. So if I mix my paint a bit thicker, it, it usually holds that, um, swirly look. Uh, well, so, you know, we'll just see, I guess, since everything's a little wonky. This is just using up some paint, and we will see how it all goes. I'm just cleaning up a little bit. Okay, get this purple out of here. A lot, a lot, a lot of these. And I'll come in here tomorrow 
get them all cleaned up. It'll probably take a couple days for the ones to dry. Maybe more than that. But I can sort of rearrange them. And get ready for some new pouring adventures and more pouring fun. Because like I said, I have so many ideas in my head. And I'm excited to kind of have a clean art room with not as much mixed paint sitting around. Okay. My canvas. There we go. My cat is just having a really good time. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Okay, that's a little better. My selfie stick is kind of sagging in the rice there. There's a little divot in my um, canvas right here. Do, 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 right here. Probably could have tightened that, I guess. But we'll go with it since this is kind of a weird leftover paint pour. We're just going to say this is a weird canvas. Okay, what I am going to do real quick, since I'm not putting a base coat down, I'm going to take, oh, this is just my pouring medium mix of Basics Matte Fluid Medium and Floetrol, just to give it a slick surface to move around on. It helps it to slide, and I'm just going to use my hand here. I don't want to use a base coat color, so I'm not planning on having it. I used a lot of it. I'm not planning on having any negative space, and I have plenty of purple to add to the outside edge if I need to. That was more of that than I need, but that's okay. Um, it has all the binders in it since it's Floetrol and Basics Matte Fluid Medium, so I'm not worried about underbinding. Okay. We are ready to go. Woohoo! And how long are we into it? Oh, we're seriously 15 minutes. Oh my goodness. That was a boring 15 minutes, maybe, unless you enjoyed listening to me chat. I did this backwards again. Oh my word. I needed it. I need a swirl order intervention. Seriously, people. I do that every single time. I get to chatting, I get to talking, thinking about all you lovely people on the other side of the camera and what I want to say to you and all the exciting things in my head and then I go and do something silly and put my colors in in the wrong order. I'm always thinking outside to inside and I need to start thinking inside to outside. Did I say that even right? Ugh. Goodness gracious. Okay, but it's okay. I can still put purple on the outside because it's like a rainbow of. I may not need to. Anyway. Okay. Do you see any blue? I do not see any blue. Isn't that funny? I had a lot of blue in there. Hey guys, sorry about that. My phone storage was full, so my phone turned off. I guess I should be asking my husband for an SD card for my birthday um, latest, later this month, so that doesn't happen. Um, but you didn't miss anything because I was tilting towards the last corner when it stopped, so um, you didn't miss anything. But while it was sitting and I was dumping the information onto my, or the first part of the video, onto my computer, um, some cells did pop up, and this part went a little wonky. Um, I'm not sure if I like it, gives it character, or it just looks weird. So you let me know if you think that's just weird and wonky or kind of cool. Yeah, if you go kind of close, it almost looks like center of a rose, almost. Oh, look at those cool little, when I, when I zoom in, I kind of like the little bits of yellow popping up. That's kind of neat. But it did keep its swirly swirl on the outside. I do think it's hilarious that um, for the most part it's purple. <laughs> My favorite color and a color I use like all the time and the colors I don't like as well um, aren't in it all that much. Just enough though that it kind of really pops. 
So, oh, that area is really neat. Let me know what do you think. Oh, and we're doing a new chocolate, caramel, whatever your favorite candy game is now on my channel. Every time I mention a movie title or a TV show, maybe even a podcast, you get to eat a piece of candy or whatever you have, whatever your favorite is. So let's see, Steel Magnolias. Sometimes, you know, it's funny because I used to like find, I mean, not even find a reason. I just willy nilly would mention a movie or a TV show or something for some odd reason. And now that I'm doing this game, I find that I'm not, and I have to find an excuse just to say a random movie. So there you go. Okay, this video has been long enough, so I will let you guys go. Here's the side still real quick. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I have some really cool things coming up on my channel. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, all those fun places as well. And as always, guys, happy pouring.